What's up, freaks? It is 12 noon on the West Coast here. You can see the beautiful weather in sunny Southern California. We are 24 hours pushes. I'm gonna get my first set in, the first official set. We have our timer. There's our, our minute timer. There's We're gonna start with 10. Uh oh, that's a bad idea. And 10. And we're gonna rest until we hear the clock go off again. We have a timer right here that we just click it to 10 and we keep track of it. So every minute, you can see right there, every minute we add on a set. Now we have a clock, a timer going off, it just beeps every minute. It's gonna do that for 24 hours straight. We can hear it all around the house, we can hear it outside, we can hear it in the living room. We're still just getting rolling. We're gonna be doing some stretching here in between these sets because this is gonna be a long so ass round. We're gonna be doing some band warm ups for our shoulders in between these sets. Midge is getting her push ups in. Look at that, all the way down. If it doesn't go all the way down, it doesn't count. Feet have to be together. Chest has together. to touch the floor. Arms have to fully extend. It has to happen or it doesn't count as a rep. The goal is, I don't know, I'm gonna go for 10,000. There's our bell, so we're gonna get another set in. Come on, come on, come on. Let's go, everybody. We're starting with just 10. I did eight. Just to get rolling in. I think we may change that as we go on because for 24 hours straight, that is gonna suck. So we're also gonna be moving around here while we're getting this done. In between these sets, we're gonna set some cameras up up there. Getting some band warm-ups to keep the shoulders loose in between. We have some water, food, pre-workout shakes. Challenge. Set. Oh yeah guys, so join no, us, join us. So we are just, all we do is just wait for that bell to come and we're doing next set. This is, you can click the links. Go on the, it's not going on my thing, I need to put a link on, my, on the post. Click the link down in the comments so you could donate to the Big Brothers, Big Sisters of Orange County. We are just getting started. We're at a whopping 20. We're gonna bang another 10 out here. Go freaks. Chest touches the floor, feet have to be together touching, arms fully extend. Tyson are counting because you are you doing 10? Oh yeah, that's gonna suck. I don't know if sets of 10 is gonna work. It's not gonna work for 24 hours. We're gonna yeah. the first hour we might go to 10 just to get a, a little chunk going, and after that it might have to go down to we probably should start off at five to warm up because we have never done this before. The longest we've ever done this before is 90 minutes. 90 minutes where we did a set. And we said, you know what? Fuck it, let's do it for 24 hours. And let's do it. Since we're gonna do it anyway, we might as well do it for charity. So we need to yeah. be stretching in between. I was barefoot here. I don't know where my red and blue <laughs> sneakers are. All right, we are here too. Hi, I love you guys in here for the Peak Physique and Why. So, yes, we're gonna post. Uh -oh. oh shit, there's a bell. This is gonna Let suck. It go. Every freaking minute a bell's going off. Who's, who the, who the, who, the, how am I seeing you get here? Thank you, Mitch. Look at that, bringing my students out. I don't know who the hell's idea with this, but this is a stupid ass idea. I gotta click my 10. What are you on, Tice? 40. Oh, you're doing 10s? We all, so you did eight, one I had 40, I think. Yeah, and I did 20. Oh, so we're on 40 so far. This is not a smart idea to do 10. Anyone that's trying to follow us at home, I'd suggest don't do 10 because. Don't do 10. We're already gonna, we're gonna be sore. We're gonna be wearing down after Why a little it, bit. Keep saying live video pause. I don't know. I'm gonna get Instagram going on this other page. As we are just getting started. So we're not gonna stay here live the entire 24 hours. That would just be boring as shit. We're gonna be watching movies. We're gonna be getting work done. We're gonna be going for a walk, going in the pool. Oh, oh. there's a bell. This sucks. <sighs> That's a secret. I have to not talk while I'm doing the push ups so I can count correctly and breathe, and it makes it much easier. We get it done in such a short amount of time. It's gonna get Instagram going. I'm gonna try to break 10,000. You're gonna go for 10,000 too? Yep. That's my goal. So, change connection. All right, so we're at 50. We only have 9,950 to go to get to 10,000, so that shouldn't be. Yeah. Too bad. We keep saying live video pause on Instagram. Yeah. Oh, so we're live on Instagram over here. We yes. started already. We are five minutes in. We are 50 push-ups in. 
We are just getting started. We got our baseball pitch counter here. We got a clock going in the background set for a minute. I think it's only set for 99 rounds of a minute. I got to see. So it might stop after 99 minutes. It beeps. It feels like it's longer than Oh, there it is. There's our bell. We're starting with sets of 10. Every bell. And then rest. Now we have 9,000 more to go. You guys have 9,000 more to go. So, so Instagram that's just joining us. So we have a timer in the background that beeps every minute. It's going to go every minute for 24 hours. Even if it only does nine sets, 99, we'll just reset it and start it over again. So every minute we're going to hear that damn bell. The goal is to do a set every minute, but I'm sure at some point when we're watching a movie or we're going to take a recovery time, maybe five minutes. I don't know. That says live video pause again. Instagram keeps saying live video pause. I don't know what's up with that. But we are just getting rolling yes what up what's up gilmore matthew white is here with us huber duber we are getting after it we're at a whopping 60. Oh. Fuck, there's the bell this is gonna suck i don't know who's fucking idea is it? Two, three, four, the goal is to try to and you have to get your chest just your chest not your gut not your nuts your chest touching the floor Every single time. Your feet have to be together, touching, heel to heel, toe to toe. What did I do here? I did my 10 inside. I'm going to do my 10. 70, right? Yeah. If your arms don't go all the way up, if your feet come apart, if your chest doesn't touch the floor, the hell? It does not count as a rep. So it has to be full peak freak. Peak physique, project style freaking push-ups. That's what it has to be. Or it doesn't count. I'm assuming that bell's coming up. That's some pressure. That's some pressure to think for 24 hours straight, you're a bitch to the bell. Like, we are that bell's bitch right now. That bitch says jump, and we say fuck. We say fuck. This is a bad idea. Yeah, 10. I don't know how long 10's going to last. But we're going to see how long it's going to last. Listen, worst case is we... Start burning out on 10 and we just go down. We just lower it. I don't even know where my drink is. We gotta get up before the bell rings again. Pike, where were those red stopwatch? Oh, never mind. Midge, don't do your back bend. You're doing this. I mean, it's a long time. When you bang them out so fast, a minute's a pretty long time. So you could, we could be playing a video game. B. So we have our. Herbalife pre-workout drink mixed with Trulene concoction. That's what's going to fuel us in these 24 hours is Herbalife and Trulene. Hey, wait, I'm just going to get off this. Oh, fuck, oh, there's a bell. Shoot. It's like literally you can't get nothing done. You can't get nothing done. Oh, and there's another 10. I think we just hit 100. No, 90. Oh, 90. So we have a whole list, a whole plan scheduled out for the 24 hours. The different movies we're going to watch, video games we're going to play, board games we're going to play, the activities we have to do, the locations around the house and around town that we're going to end up doing them. Like we are going to go for a walk tonight out there around town or wherever during the day. Energy. And just stop every time a minute's up. Stop and drop. Put your face in the freaking dirt and bang out the push-ups every single time. That's on a walk. We're going to be doing it while I'm getting some work done in my office. I'll be doing them there because I still need to get work done. We still got to move the damn needle. We still got to be obsessed with our freaking goals. We're not just here to just do some push-ups. We're using this push-up to energize and fuel and motivate us to get so much shit done in this 24 hours. We're going to get oh. a week's worth. It rang? Yeah. yeah. Shit. I'm talking. I didn't even hear it ring. I mean it. <laughs> hundred. So we're at a hundred. Geez, you didn't. I'm not. I didn't realize that we did a hundred clicks. I mean, did a hundred push-ups already. You, you can't. So, do we're using these push-ups to fuel us to energy. Look, we're gonna be full of energy. We're just gonna have long last. We're, yeah, it's, it's all cool for ten minutes. We're doing this for twenty-four flipping hours. So, I'm gonna. I plan on getting more work done today than I would ever get done on a Saturday because we're up the entire time and we need to fill in that minute. So we're, it's like on an email, hammer out an email for 50, 55 seconds, 
banging out 10 push-ups, keeping the blood flow and keeping the energy level up while I'm doing emails, while I'm setting appointments for the week, planning my schedule for the week. We're actually going to be reading and doing push-ups. Reading a, a minute's worth of the page, banging out the 10 push-ups. I just finished my five. <laughs> 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 This is a bad idea. We're gonna see I'm how long these. My five. We're gonna see how long these tens last. Because we can make it last an hour or two easy, but the wearing down that it's gonna do to have to have the endurability, the durability and endurance to go 24 hours. We'll see what's gonna freaking happen. We'll see what's gonna happen. Need some energy. Callie Styles is here. What's up, Somaticus? Anybody need some energy? Listen, if anyone's doing some of these sets with us, just let me know, and you could pop right into the screen. We could we could jump, have you jump right onto the camera, and go live with us, and do a bang out a few sets with us. For this first, I don't know, 30 minutes, 60 minutes, we're gonna be here on this to get things rolling. We'll sign off, then we'll go on Instagram for a little bit. Lower. Midge, if you don't go all the way down, it doesn't count. Don't don't count those if you didn't touch the floor. You didn't, you didn't chest touches the floor. And arms down. fully extend. Midge, you were doing hips your back bend like that. Don't do that. Don't. Chest has a touch. Just do sets of three if you have to. If you want to last long, yeah. don't try to do ten. Oh, do one. Just get like I'm three doing solid. Five now. Don't even do five. Do three solid. Real good ones. Three. Three right? solid. Yeah. So that they're real good ones. You want them to be solid, solid reps. This is basically recording a day of our life just with push-ups. Yeah, we're basically well, doing everything we do. we do during the day. We have reading time. We have personal development time. We have work time. We're going to be going to the pool. Middle of the night, we're going to be going to the freezing-ass pool to keep us awake. So we're going to jump in the pool for whatever, 30 seconds in the cold water. Then we're going to jump out, get out of there, go right into the jacuzzi to warm up. Right out of there, set of push-ups. Pool, jacuzzi, push-up. Shit. I'm doing eight now. Everybody will be eventually on their own thing, counting their own, not keeping up the same count. And we got some, Different. all got our own brand new stopwatches here for when we're going for the walk or for What's if it? we're not in the same room for whatever reason. If you got to go take a, take a piss, got to take your stopwatch with you. You're going to be doing push ups, push ups, pissing all over the place. There's going to be piss spraying all over the place because you can't miss your damn set. That's just the way it is. I don't even want to talk about it. You got to take a dump. <laughs> That's going to be interesting. It'll look like there's chocolate pudding smeared all over the ba bathroom, like when these two were little kids. And they would do shit bombs all over the house. What the heck? It's going to be like that again. Dude, but whatever. Listen, how bad do you want it? What's the price you're willing to pay to push yourself to go to the next freaking level? Oh! We got to go. There it is. Go. There it is. <laughs> Goal is to get those 10, and the chest is touching every single time. I'm ready to do the counter. I'm already losing. I'm starting to do the counter on here. 120. What do you got? 140. Mm. 136. <laughs> oh my God, this goal. We have movie sets we're going to watch. Listen to how fucked up this family is. We have, we're going to be watching The Purge, all four Purge movies, and then we go right to watch The Croods. Then we go watch Deadpool. <laughs> then we watch The Chipmunks. Then we watch Terminator 2. Then we watch Goosebumps. Then we watch 13 Hours. We're gonna watch Yellowstone third season. Then we watch Let's Be Cops. Then we watch Sausage Party. Oh, that one. Then we watch Zombieland. Oh. Ah. And then we Zombieland. <sighs> So you can see, we're very schizophrenic. What does that mean? Phrenic-ish, multiple like, like you're going from one different type of movie to another different personality. So we have a variety of movies in between. So we have time we're just gonna be here with you, hanging out, talking in between. We have times we're gonna be doing this while we're watching movies, times while we're playing video games, times while we're going for a walk, times while we're in the pool, times while we're reading, times while we're doing some online personal development courses. Times while we're just hanging out, recovering and stretching in between, 
and maybe snacking on some stuff. Is that it? Almost. Well, it's going to show you how yeah, much you can move. really get it fun. done today in between those rounds, in between the push-ups. So make your own list and then video. share it with us. What you come out, what movies oh. did you, do you, do you want to watch or read books, whatever is on your list, share. Ken Burke, what's up? Ken! Ken says, I don't hear any Disney titles. <laughs> I don't think there are other, one of those is Disney. Was there a Disney? I gotta put my 10 in. There's nothing. Oh, we have The Greatest Showman. The Greatest Showman is the one movie that you wouldn't expect. Wouldn't expect that we like. That's one of our favorite movies for some reason. The Greatest Showman. I think I know why, actually. Think about it. It's just a ragtag group of degenerate freaks that are shunned by the whole world. And they come together and they just build an empire. A business that lasted freaking hundreds of years. Huge name. Just by a bunch of weirdos getting together. That's basically what our all every company that we've had and been part of for the last 20 years has been. Peak Physique. That's exactly what the project is. Fucking live video keeps pausing on Instagram. It's exactly what the project is. It's exactly how private coaching works. Like, we're just, it's just a big freak show. A big non stop freak show. Ow! Doing eight is a bad idea. <laughs> go to fives. You got a long way to go, man. I know. You should go to fives. <laughs> I'm doing tens at the. I gotta beat you. I'm doing tens at the risk of. Probably burning the hell out at some point where I'm gonna have to drop to, I don't know, fives uh, or whatever. I'm gonna be doing I'm one for one minute. Matthew White, we were on the road for four hours doing push ups on the side of the highway. Yes, I like it. We just started only, we started only 17, well, around 170, so 17 minutes ago. We're doing 10 a minute. Listen, guys. Uh, this is this is just a thought came to my mind if you joining or you're gonna decide you know what I just want to do a few of them go live on your own page on your Instagram or Facebook tag us in the post about the push -up challenge this can spread the world this can go internationally because you're gonna tag and tag one person at least in this challenge people can join even for two minutes right so <clears throat> don't be afraid of going live don't be afraid or record. This is a push-up challenge, not yeah. a talking challenge. Yeah, you need to do your push -ups. I'm gonna do it. Don't worry about this it. This ain't a yapping do it. challenge. Look at my hair here. Stop pausing. <laughs> we want to involve as many people as possible. <sighs> I'm gonna let this. So this whole first spider. beginning round is just to get warmed up, stay connected. Here, we're gonna stretch some legs in between, do some foam rolling in between. Eventually, <sighs> working on our suntan here. In early March, well, can't beat it. Working on the suntan. I said that Tyson's gonna beat me. Can I see these messages? And I'm already. Huh? Uh, you already heard of me. Yes, I'm Matthew White. Matthew White, a freak, one, project one, graduate. One thirty-six right now. I'm one thirty-seven. Midge, you need to oh. go all the way down. You need to do one thirty-seven. You need to be accurate. <laughs> All right, ten are still easy, but that's only been nineteen minutes. One seventy-eight. Don't worry about me. Stop worrying about other Instagram people. on the Just one of the Instagrams keeps freaking you. pausing every second. We're not gonna stay out here too long outside just because we got a long way to go and we don't want to be in the sun for too long and zap ourselves, dehydrate ourselves. That's why we got tons of water. We got a true lean and herb life pre-workout, which has the, the true lean everyday fit in it to keep us hydrogenated. Hydrogenated. This is how you look like a wants to beat me. Oh. Made you better be touching the floor every time with just your chest, not your gut. I Listen, freaks. It. These are push ups. Your chest touches the floor every single fucking rep. Not just your gut, not just your nuts, your freaking chest. Feet are together. <laughs> Not on the hands anymore. Just. Jeez, how do you do that that fast? 200. You're at 200. I'm at 183. At 200. That means we're 20 minutes in. That was 20 minutes, right? That's crazy. That we've been out here for 20 minutes. That doesn't feel like 20 minutes. I feel like I we've know. been on here for like five minutes, not even. Oh, wow. Time's getting flat. Yeah. Wait till we get to hour five, six, nine, 12, 14. Ain't gonna be flying then. Stop. Ain't gonna be fucking flying then. I'm at 150. Oh yeah. What's up, 
EJ White. I don't know, fuck that. The Instagram keeps pausing. You, Maybe Midge, I have too much stuff on Wi Fi. That shit Midge, keeps pausing. Your Instagram. chest needs to touch the floor. There's no mm. way you're at 150. We are just getting warmed up on this, just getting rolling. Shout. That's a fake 150. <laughs> no, it is. Oh, here's our bell. I think we're spending a lot of energy sitting up. Probably should just lay here in between, but I want to get up and stretch. Hydrogenated. The goal is 10,000. I don't know. <laughs> There's 1,440 minutes in a day, in 24 hours. 1,440 freaking minutes. So if you did just one push up a minute every minute, you'd hit over a thousand in a 24 hour period. Just think of that. Okay. Think of that. Think of what you're capable of in your life. The time you're probably wasting in your fucking life when every hour of the day, not making use of every hour, every minute, of every second. That's why our number one. I'm talking, boy. They don't want to see your ass crack. Are you like refixing the refrigerator or something? They want to look down your butt crack? You better get away from my thing. Don't reset my timer. Okay. We know Tyson. Instagram keeps pausing for some reason. I don't know what's up with that. They keep pausing. Facebook is rolling. There's the time. Don't be crowding up. We have tons of food and fuel and snacks and supplements. Pro <coughs> Excuse me. Protein cookies. Protein shakes ready. Pre-workout drinks ready. Post-workout drinks ready. All prepared ahead of time just to fuel this. Because I'll tell you what. We're 22 minutes in, and I'm a little out of breath. And we got 24 hours to go. We're only 22 minutes. We're not even 24 minutes in. But I think I'm talking too much. I think I'm yapping too much. But we're not going to be yapping. sitting here. It'll be boring for you to be sitting here all the time. Each activity we're doing, we'll come in live. We'll do a quick little live 10, 15-minute shot, and we'll get back to it. We'll keep keeping you updated on posts. We'll be live on Facebook, live on all of our different Facebook pages, live on all of our different Instagram pages. Stories on all the Instagram pages, so in one way or another, we'll be connected. Go! In some point, it went? Yes. Fuck, I'm babbling. And please, please donate to this charity. So you just need to click on this link and make a donation because that's what we're doing it for. To donate the money to a five. big brother and big sisters. Where are you at? Of Orange County. So we've already got several donations in, already, uh, already over a couple of thousand dollars in the donations on the when we go, when we sign off of the lives, I'll go in and, and do some posts and stuff while we're doing the push-ups. Keep you updated where we're at with donations, where we're at on the push-up count, and all that stuff. And shout out to those who donate. We'll be doing that for each donation. There's already several donations that started flooding in already. So we'll, don't be touching my counter. see where you're at. Wait, what are you at? 2.30. It's like a time. Wait. What are you on? It shows 3.05. I didn't touch anything. Tyson. I didn't touch you it. Better reset and start up. Get it back to 200. Okay. We're we'll probably 205. I'll go. <laughs> okay, I'm. You better keep better track of your stuff. I know. Reset it. So every set, look at it and make sure you know what it's at. In case you accidentally bump something, you know where to go back to because you can easily reset it and start over. But I need to go all the way to 210. You can't just reset it like that. I know. So, you got one minute to get it there. We are, yeah, that's a good way to break it, dummy. Okay, sorry. Use that big ass dome. What's up, Instagram? Freaks. I really want to stretch my legs in between, but then I gotta get up and down and stand up. That shit takes a lot of freaking energy. Who's doing some of these push-ups with us? Make sure you like and share and comment. Can you, can you stop that back there when I'm talking? Can you stop that when I'm talking, please? Yes, yes. Can you two please take that somewhere else when I'm talking and trying to tell them what to do? Yeah, yeah, go, go, go ahead. Go! <laughs> so I'm at 218. I don't even know what I'm saying now. What was I saying? Who knows? So make sure you go onto the page and donate. Blessed Archer, what's up? How are you doing? So anyway, if you're joining us, make sure you like and share and comment on these videos. Share this video with your friends, your family members, your coworkers. Share the link with them. 
the posts that we put in between these live videos with the link. Make sure you share it. Go in there and donate. You can donate as little as, as $10. I mean, I'll even on one of the breaks put it down that you can donate $5 or even $1. Every freaking dollar will count. There's already been, I see the, the donations coming in. There's already over a couple thousand dollars been donated. Going to the big brothers, big sisters of Orange County. So the reason why we chose big brothers, big sisters Really was inspired by the project, this shirt that I'm wearing. You know, we, we talk about the project all the time. And I speak to men on the phone from the project every day, several men on a daily basis, just seeing if they're a good fit for the program, if they want to get registered for the program. And hearing about all their fucked up childhoods. And then hearing about their, their like struggling relationship with their kids. Maybe they only see their kids every couple of weeks, every couple of months or whatever. Whatever the case is. Then... What are you doing? <laughs> but you don't see me talking? That's very rude. Just tapping yeah. me on the shoulder? I'm going to have to block you. I don't remember what I was saying again. It doesn't take much to make me uh, lose track. Okay. So seeing that, we thought, all right, we're doing these crazy challenges all the time, these bike rides, these hikes. We, we decided to do oh. this push-up challenge. I'll tell you after our count. So we thought, you know what? We're doing this stuff anyway. We might as well do it for our cause. Get some donations for something we came up with big brothers big sisters Because what an awesome foundation for kids who need mentors and then also we Recently the project instructions we went out to Idaho to this youth camp in Idaho with that's run by the National Idaho National Guard and There was like a hundred kids in there Just at-risk youth and teens that we went to go and help and talk to and just the impact that it had on these kids Just being spending one day with them you know, the big brothers big sisters is kind of really tightly connected with that so it seemed like the perfect place to do it. And we already have next month's scheduled Freak Fest, Freak Suffer Fest challenge. It's going to be 24 hours on a bike. How many miles can we bike in 24 hours nonstop, no sleep? And that's going to be April 3rd to 4th, finishing on Look. Easter. Bless you. Bless you. Corona. <laughs> I'm doing sets of five now. That is not a good sign. So we could be doing sets of... 20 here sets of 30 but we wouldn't be able to hit them every minute and if we did hit them on every minute we certainly wouldn't be able to sustain that for 24 hours so we had to pick a number right now it's 10 and even number 10 why i'm at 187 midge i'm gonna be watching yours because there's no way you're at 187 yeah i'm 172 midge yeah number doesn't matter if they're not good ones i'm gonna make you start over at zero in a second yeah midge you're not you're bull crapping. Ones. No, no. Especially yes, someone you sponsored you specifically. They sponsored money for your number specifically. So if your numbers are not accurate, they're not going to pay that money because I'm not going to let them pay the money if, if it wasn't accurate push ups for your number. Vikram sponsored you personally for how many you're going to get, but he needs to see good quality push ups. Got it? Deal? Deal. Deal. Shit, Ooh, Bell. <laughs> Some reason I did seven. It doesn't matter what you do, as long as you do a set, you recover, it's just gonna keep adding up. It doesn't matter. You could do you could do it. You wanna do a round where you only do three or four? Who cares? Like get that recovery for two rounds. This is going on for twenty four hours. Well, it's, that's crazy. We're almost a half hour into this already. Twenty nine minutes in. Ten more. Fucking crazy. Ten more. One more minute. Serrano, what's going. up? Julian Serrano, project graduate, Matthew White, project graduate. And let me tell you, the donations I see coming in. 90% of them are from Project Graduates. That just tells you what the project is all about. 90% of them are from Project Graduates. There's a Project Graduate, and, and I know people don't do this stuff to get credit for it or whatever. There's one Project Graduate that donated $1,000 just for to see a bunch of freaks do some push-ups. So what a bunch of awesome freaks in the project. That is why... <laughs> Sorry, I'm not going to talk during the push-up because that's just going to fucking kill me. 193. Yeah, you're doing... You're that's what's awesome. That's what's awesome about the freaking project. Can I see how many do you have? Bunch of freaks just going above and beyond, leaving people better than they found them. Like, what, we have our creed in the project. That's one of the lines of our creed. I leave others better than I found them. And what a way to do it is to give back, to donate to something like this. And one of the other project graduates is doing his own event right now over in... 
Boise, Idaho or Meridian, whatever, somewhere there right near Boise, Idaho at his gym running this exact, exact event, 24 hours, a big fundraiser they have going on, Abe Abood in Fit Body Boot Camp. And they have the police department coming with the fire department. They're going to have head face-offs. Who could do more push-ups? Like what an awesome event. They have vendors and food and catering, all kinds of stuff. Huge Come event. On. More oh, than we're way. even doing. Shh, shh, shh. We do this just to have some family time, hanging out, push each other as a family. We do this little freak show. Do crazy things. Little freak shows. But yeah. what an awesome thing he's doing over there. Shut his gym down for 24 hours just to go and do this. And he just threw this together right when I did, which was just you know a couple weeks ago. And he made it happen. He turns this huge event. We're just here at our house doing this, having fun, setting up our own schedule. But he's got a whole big event planned out. Like what an ass kicker. Fucking awesome. Abe in Idaho. We'll go live with him later. He's in a different time zone. So they're doing 12 noon to 12 noon on their time zone. So that means maybe they started before us then. They might have started already. We're going to connect with them. We got 24 hours to connect with them. We're going to connect with them, go live a few times throughout this where we split the screen. We go live on their page. They come live on here. Also, anyone on Instagram wants to jump in and do a few sets with us. I knew he was coming. Fuck. I can't even get a sentence out. I'm getting more out of breath from talking than I am from push ups. Oh. Stop. That's why your thing is resetting. Yeah. You're going to go to the store in between and buy a new one? How are you going to do that oh. without missing your push ups? Oh, you're going to have to drive. No, you're just going to have to count on a piece of paper with a paper and pen if you break that. Yeah. Oh, so, how about shoot. you respect it? <laughs> and at the same time, we're connecting and learning and teaching lessons right there. Every little thing, every chance you have. Be the freaking role model. Role model the way. Teach lessons all along the way. Steve Crawl. From Scranton, PA. What's up, freak? He's doing a cha his own challenge today, his own supper fest. He is doing four miles running every four hours for 48 hours. That's freaking awesome. So I guess it's just as quick as you can. I don't know how, the, what, what his Huber Duber, what's up, freak show. So crawl over there on Facebook. Guys, are Shit. you killing your shoulders like this? <laughs> I'm gonna get up just to stretch that position is killing your hip. You're gonna heal your hips down there. You won't even be able to stand up. I'm gonna move around a little bit so you can just get the crotch cam. Don't be looking up my shorts, you little freaks. Move around a little bit because we're stuck in that position for too long. This is gonna be ugly. I'm already, my shoulders are stiff. Shoulders are getting stiff. It's gonna get ugly. You have to do like this. Hold your hands. So, yeah, crawl there in Scranton, PA. I need my pre workout. He did four miles Assistant. every four hours. So I guess you finish the four miles as quick as you can. Whatever, in an hour, whatever it takes you, 35 minutes, and you recover. And then the next four hour slot, you do another four miles every four hours for 48 hours. That's. Thank you. Six? Five seconds? No. We do I don't know. How many is that? How many times? Go. Crawl. Crawl. How many runs is that? Go. How many four miles is that? That's 22. How? <laughs> 22. Four times twenty-two equals. If you don't make any sense, four times twenty-two. He's doing it every four hours. Oh, no. There's four hours in a day. There's what six? So what? You do it twelve times. Oh, no, that's not cool. Crawl. How many times do you do the four miles in that forty-eight hours? Twelve Eleven. times. Eleven. Yeah, it's twelve times. No, twelve. But because four times six. So he ran four miles, twelve times. Holy oh, wow. shit! Wait. So that ends up being. Oh, wait, yeah. Forty-eight hours. He's, or 48 miles, I mean. Wait a minute. Is that right? Holy shit, that is right in 48 hours. That's crazy. Good stuff. Crawl. So how many miles is that? 48. Four. But can you imagine? Oh, yeah. You're like running four. four. Miles. Please stop getting four stuff in Oh, yeah. Four every it's four. Almost, yeah. Four miles every four hours for 48 hours. Nice. It's four miles 12 times. 48 miles. Wow. Good stuff. Good You're stuff. You're running in the middle of the night, too. <laughs> <laughs> I'm doing like set to six. What are you at? 350. Wow. 279. We're in the sun. What a perfect day we had here for this. We're not going to be outside the whole time. We'll be all over the place. Inside. We're going to bring a TV outside. Yes, crawl 12 times. Holy shit. That's crazy. Are you still doing it? Are you on that? Or did you finish, crawl? Because I know you were doing it yesterday and today for 48 hours. Are you done already? 
or are you on one of the four hour time blocks still? Mitch, stop touching the screens. Stop telling me again. Because then you end up turning it off or screwing up. Do you hear me? Mitch, you're, doing, you're, not, you're not doing real push ups. There's no way you're doing Vikram is watching you. Yeah, so. No, we are watching Vikram you. Vikram is watching Everybody you. Everybody knows what to do. Mitch, so. you can't keep getting in the way. Come on, Steve. Do push ups. Your hands are good. Go. They're going to start getting hot. You're going to put these on going. How many did you do? Three. Me? You better say three because I was counting. I was peeking behind my eyes. You better behind my to eyes be together. No back bend. And we're getting a nice tan out here at the same time. <sighs> Mitch, if you're in my way when that bell rings, I'm going to squish you like a pancake. Good. <laughs> mm -hmm. Leave my hair alone. Leave my hair alone. Don't touch. Don't touch. What's over on this Instagram? I haven't seen this one. This one's different. I mean, you do. Yes, math skills are scary. There's not a dollar sign behind it. I'm not that good at math. That was my brother, Ekbo420. I'm sure you're doing these push-ups with us, right? You committed to oh, 20, 24 push-ups. Yes, I saw this. <laughs> Whopping 24, Dave. <laughs> Three. 290. Oh. She's at 370. That really makes a difference when you only do. Oh, crawl! You're halfway through. You're on one right now. So you're texting this while you're running. What a freak show! <gasps> oh wow! I was like wondering. Oh, so he's halfway through. Good shit. Do some videos while you're doing it. Yeah. Or oh, ask if he could join. Hooper Duber family goals. That would be on. These poor people. <laughs> these poor folks behind me. That have to deal with this all day. <laughs> but they only have to deal with it for like the 18, 19, 20 hours that they're awake because we don't sleep a ton. They don't have to deal with it that much. I got to deal with it like 27 hours a day. That's fucked up in there. You say that every like well, video that you do. Okay, I have to do push ups. So <laughs> and what? it's pause again. All right, time to go. What do you say? Oh, you banged him out early. Ekbo420 banged him out early. <laughs> We're gonna be live while I'm doing my Lego inside. Yeah, he just got a new Lego, like 1200 piece set or something he's gonna do. He'll find a piece, put them together, do a set of push ups. Find the next piece or two, put it together, do a push up. And it's a Lego creator, bring it, show it. which mm -hmm. means it has three different sets built into one. So after you put it together, you take it apart and you put together the other one. So that'll take up a whole bunch of his time. So he'll do that while I'm doing my work on the computer or whatever. We'll have some reading time together. We have That's all our books three, out. Three We're playing sets. some chess. We're playing a game called three. the Sock Game, a board game called the Sock Game, and Mastermind, some old little board game. If you never played it, Mastermind, it is the biggest mindfuck board game. You start playing it, you have to decode what the other person set up on their code with their colors, and your mind will start twisting. Oh. It, is the, it yeah. is the coolest game ever. It really screws up with your mind. <laughs> 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 So those are the main board games that we're mixing in. And then Monopoly, but just on the PlayStation, because it's easier there. But then we have some new ones today we haven't tried, right? Mm -hmm. Jason? Maybe we could play Lara Crotch. <laughs> Lara Crotch. Well, that's <laughs> Tomb Raider, Lara Crotch, we're going to play, apparently. That's on the PlayStation, but the actual board game, we have two. So we'll do some touched. Call of Duty split screen, where you can put four players on the screen on Call of Duty and do some Nazi zombies. Call of Duty Black Ops, Black Ops 3. We'll Wait, do that. You no, know, it's just regular zombies. Nazi zombies is on. Whatever. Whoa. Whatever. It doesn't matter which one. Call of Duty Nazi Although, zombies. Did we include VR? No, we're not doing VR. Yeah, By the time you get the headset much. on, you won't yeah. be able to do push ups. Too much. We, and I'm crazy. And you no! get. Shit. Go. You want to hear something crazy, freaks? This has already been. This is the 40th minute. What? You're lying. Because <laughs> I'm at 400 and I'm doing 10 a minute, it means we're on 40 minutes. Here's the Lego. Vikram. Oh, this is the Lego that he has. What a cool freaking set. He just bought yesterday with his own money that he earned from busting his ass around the house, from doing everyone's laundry, from cleaning the cars, cleaning the house, cleaning the, all the home gyms, the outdoor home gym, the indoor home gym, the in the office home gym, cleaning my home office. 
doing everything, working, even doing some computer work. He earns some money and he goes buys himself some big ass Lego set. A little freak, a little freak show. It would take me 10 years, even 10 years ten I wouldn't be, a, 10 years a kid I wouldn't be able to get that. Video post again. Oh. Instagram is annoying, but the bit made you can't keep crossing in, like find a spot. What's going on there? Play Battleship. Well, yes, we have Battleship too. We actually we do, we'll yeah, play Battleship. battleship. Some, who have played Battleship on piece of paper instead of a plastic piece of game? I did that with my grandfather when I was little. He would have a piece of paper in front of him and I would have a piece of paper in front of me. He would divide it, create the grids and teach me how to play. Nowadays, you buy the Battleship that it's literally pre-made with the Battleships and stuff. Not today. So, the Battleship pre-made has been out since the 1950s or 60s. Okay, we didn't have We're just that. saying now today. So in Poland, they just released the Battleship board game, which in the rest of the world has been out since 1947. If you go to Poland right now, guess what? Releasing tonight, the world premiere of the Titanic will be in theaters in Poland today. It's a big event. They're lining up around the blocks. They said, fuck Corona, because Titanic is coming out, and we don't want to miss it. No. All right, we you're too crammed up for push-ups yeah, here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on, come on. We talking about push creativity, guys. Creativity? If you, creatine? If you don't have... Shush, I can't count. I think I did 11 instead of 10, and now I'm going to waste energy. But I'm only putting 10 because I'm not sure. I'm at 130. This is going to be so cool I mean 230. <laughs> that is huge. So Battleship, they've been playing Battleship lately. I haven't played it in 20 years, so I don't even remember it exactly. I mean, I know how to play, but I won't be in the flow, so they'll probably beat me. But chess, I am still the king of chess. I'm the king of almost every board game here. He beat me in chess one time on the tablet but i think it was a, a, a cheesy way of doing it on an actual chessboard we had a rematch and i wiped the floor with him but Ivanka learned the battleship you remember when you started it was but so he almost hard beat me in chess we played a life-size chess right. on a boat on a ship that he almost beat me he had me on the ropes and he made one bonehead move and I, I i reversed it around but he had me beat one time we were on a cruise ship that had big life-size pieces you had to actually move around on a big life-size board oh. so you actually had to be inside the game and he had me beat But he got complacent, and you know, complacency kills. Half price for a Titanic cruise in Poland. <laughs> it was sick. Ekbo said. Oh God! You Half price for Steve Cohen said you earned that. You earned the Lego. He sure did earn the Lego. Shit. What do you have? Four thirty. I'm at. Midge. Two thirty-three. Cheating. Yeah, you're cheating. I'm at two fourteen. Yeah, Mitch, you know, there's no way you're at that number. No, I'm doing three at a time. Because in the beginning, you were doing this. We're gonna, we'll cut some off at the end. We'll see. Yeah. See what you end up with. No, well, great job for number. participation. We'll cut How about off. that? Great job for participation off. and trying and off. being here, right? Let's go. No, there's, no, absolutely fucking not. There are no participation trophies. One time I was in I'm Little League. Two, three. Trophy. <laughs> I'm talking about I just for, for staying on board. When I was in Little League, one year I was the best on the team, and the next year I was the worst on the team. Mm -hmm. And the year that I was the worst on the team, what happened to the Wi-Fi? Now the Wi-Fi's out on that one. When I was the worst on the team, our record was something like, actually I think Ekbo420 was my coach. We were like one win and like 16 losses, or maybe you didn't coach till the year before that, or year after that, I don't remember. I think you coached the year after that when we were actually pretty decent. When I was on the Cardinals in fifth grade, we were like one and 16. End of the year, we got this shiny trophy. Like we fucking sucked. We won one game because the other team like all had coronavirus or some shit. That's the only reason we won. And we got a trophy at the end of the year. What a joke. Gotta go. Let's do it. <laughs> Kind of like the same thing in Diary of a Wimpy Kid when Manny, when he was doing soccer, their team like was like so bad, and they got this huge trophy. Everybody. So we're gonna stay oh, live I here for this first hour. We're gonna wrap up this first hour with you, and then we'll go and set up our next activity. We got different schedules set up, like I said, for the whole day. So we'll set up for our next one. A lot of them will be outdoors while it's nice and sunny out here on 
Saturday, and then we'll be outdoors again tomorrow morning. We'll be doing this all through the freaking night. We are not going to sleep. We are doing push-ups every freaking minute. It's sick. It's twisted. It's Eckert. But if somebody was so easy to do this, one push-up per hour, that would just be 24 push-ups, which is so lazy. <laughs> what? Don't do 24 push-ups. But they would still have to stay up. They'd still have to stay up. They have to, stay up. They have to wake up every hour just to do their one push-up. Oh, it's so hard. Which is it? Which is it? There it is. If you do uh -oh. one push-up per hour, you're only doing 24 push We were Phillies. Yeah, that was sixth grade. When you coached, we were, and we were actually pretty good. I think we went in the playoffs, maybe. The year before that, in the fifth grade, was the Cardinals, and we were horrible because I was a year ahead. I was the youngest in the grade, so since I was good in the fourth grade, they bumped me up to the major leagues in the fifth grade, and I fucking sucked. Plus, I didn't wear glasses, or I wore glasses that I couldn't see. So I'd be in center field. I was fast as hell. No matter where the ball was in the field, I can get to it. I was so fast. If the ball was hitting the sky in the outfield, I can cover all three positions, center field, left field, right field. The only problem was I was blind as a motherfucker. They'd hit the ball. One time the ball was hit. I went charging in. I'm like, yeah, I'm going to dive forward. I'm going to make this catch. And I looked, and it was like 50 feet over the fence. And I went running forward for it. All the coaches were like, what the hell are you doing? The bell went. The coaches were like, what the hell are you doing? And you know what? So I was charging in. It was a home run like 30 feet over the fence. And I went charging in towards it because I was so fucking blind. Because I didn't wear glasses. I didn't get contacts. Pamela Hawkins, what's up? Dave Katinsky, what's going on? Jeannie Ryan, one of my first ever personal training clients, about probably close to 20 years ago, is on there. Wait, on who? Facebook? It's Instagram. Oh, who? My fr actually, my first in-home, my actual first in-home training client when I went off on my own into business was Jeannie Ryan. And I remember the first, when I bought a BOSU ball, and it was like the biggest thing in the world, because I would go around with just a rusty pair of dumbbells, and then I finally made enough money to buy a BOSU ball. And I showed up there with a shiny new BOSU ball. And it was like fucking Christmas. I remember the day. We want to go. That was seriously close to 20 years ago. Oh my God. How yeah. are the kids doing? The kids might be so yeah. big now. Wait, I'm just see something. David said, who are you calling lazy? Oh, Jeannie Ryan's on both ends. Or she was on that Instagram, actually on this one. Yes, she's still, she's there watching. So if you remember that day, I showed up with a BOSU ball. That was, must have been 1999. I don't even know. 98. Maybe, 90, I don't know, 2000. She sh I showed up with a BOSU ball instead of just a rusty pair of dumbbells. So really, it's people like you, Jeannie Ryan, who started off the career and started off the beginning of Peak Physique after going to the gym. You were literally my first in-home training client that I had when I made the decision just to jump from the gym and go off on my own. So let's go. do it. And I remember. I used to do in-home training. Shit, I forgot. Two sets. Don't forget this. I, oh my god, so many sets in a row. I didn't do a couple sets in a row. What time is it? Who has a time on the watch? 50. It's actually at 500. I missed a set. I was talking. There was a time, I used to go to your house at 5 in the morning. You lived in New Jersey. And at that point, I think I was living, maybe still, no, I wasn't in Bear Mountain. I was in New Jersey too. But I'd show up to your house at 5 in the morning. Holy shit, her daughter is 20 and the other daughter is 18. What? Holy shit. 20 years old, so it was damn near 20 years ago. I showed up to your house at 5 a.m. and I remember the morning, probably the first time, you just moved to the new house in Ridgewood and you didn't realize you left the alarm on. And so you opened the door to let me in and the alarm went off and your kids come running out and they see this ugly, bald, hairy, scary guy. And they are probably traumatized for life. I at, at, most of the day. <laughs> at 4.45 in the morning, they hear the alarm go off in the house and they come out of their room and they see this guy standing at the bottom of the stairs holding all this weird equipment and shit because by that time, we had some more equipment so I'd carry in all these kind of weird, funky contraptions 
They probably thought it was some kind of terrorist attack or something, and they're probably still traumatized. They're probably still in therapy, so I apologize for that. They're probably <laughs> still in therapy from that. I got out of the Marines in 2001. Yes, yeah, so I've been out for now 21 years. 20 years. Going on 21. Shoot. What are you being? 2021? Yeah. Mm -hmm. 20 years ago. Armed Republic, what's up? Love the name. On Instagrams. Instagram. There it is. It is. Make sure that you are sharing this video. Once we get to the hour, the first hour mark, we're gonna sign off on the live video, and we'll be doing quick little stories because I want to go in and check in on emails and see donations so I could do shout outs to whoever gave the donations, get caught up in that stuff. We're gonna set up on our next activity that we have going on and continue doing the push-ups every minute while we're setting stuff up, while we're recovering, stretching, hydrating, all that good stuff, getting our all of our stuff set for the day. And we'll be doing quick little short Instagram stories on the times that we're not doing live videos of this. We'll do hour long lives every three to four hours probably. Throughout the 24 hours, like a full hour like this where we could just get connected with you. I want some of you to come on the screen and do some sets with us. So you can just at request to, to join the live. I don't even know how to ask you to join. Go. They are, when they join, they can send a request. If you're having any trouble at three, Holy crap. I'd say you go to two. So I'm already at 50, 530 push-ups. And we just got started. I'm at We're in trouble. So we need to do some stretch in between. You can't just lay here still like this for 24 hours. So that's why we have different activities. This first hour, we just wanted to get the ball rolling, get connected with you. Ken Overton, what's up, freak show? A Wait, fellow Marine. We were doing some push-ups. Anyone wants to join on these videos, just request to jump on there on Instagram, Facebook. We'll be doing short live videos like this here and there. A lot of shitloads of stories. Make sure you share this video with all your friends, your family members, your coworkers, your fucking enemies. Share it around. Go to the link. You could donate as little as $10. Every dollar counts to go to the Big Brothers, Big Sisters of Orange County. And as I've been looking into the Big Brothers and really seeing what they're about. Even one penny. <laughs> my brother who's on Instagram talking and commenting here right now, he actually was a big brother in the Big Brothers Big Sisters. His, the kid was, what the hell was the kid's name? Don't even say it. Fuck, I can't remember it. Danny? Was it Danny? No. Wait, I don't know. Who? David used to have a, he was signed up as a big brother in that program. Me and him would go hang out with the kid. We'd take him to the beach. So I was thinking about it and looking into it. And I have a, a private coaching client right now that was a big brother for a couple years, like three or four years ago. And he just talked about how great the company still is and they've been around for so long. What a freaking awesome thing they do. So Joey. That was the kid's name. Shit, I would have remembered it. <laughs> I was gonna say Jimmy next. Yeah, I remember it, Joey. So we, I was thinking about it. Like a lot of these kids have no, or, or in a single, they don't have a mentor. They don't have a positive male role model. So I was thinking that we might even oh. sign up for that. Maybe me and Tyson are gonna sign up for that. <laughs> yeah. It would be what way? To continue giving back. We have, and wait till you see the different things we have coming up with Peak Physique, with the private coaching that we do, and with the project. Coming up in the ne next couple of weeks, next couple of months, we have some stuff ready to come to, to start that we're working on. It's going to fucking blow you away. So make sure you continue to support, to send some donations over to the Big Brothers Big Sisters. It's going to be awesome. And I think, Tyson doesn't even, he doesn't even know about it, but I think we should go sign up and be Big Brothers where you pick, those, pick a kid up a boy up twice a month and they could just come to your house work out with you you just set up different events different activities with them just being their role model and clark had his brother jimmy mm, he's clark. another his friend let's do it is that an hour yet yeah it's over an hour no, it's not. It's not? We'll I'm at 560. I'm at 270. What is that? Yeah, 56 minutes, 560. Okay. Wow. So when you get oh, to no, 600? 570. Yeah, we're at 1256. Daddy, I want to see. 560. Yeah, I'm at 560. 
So at the at the hour mark, we're gonna log off of these. I'm gonna go catch up on the donations and emails and shout outs and stuff like that. I'm gonna go check over on Abe in Idaho, see how their event's going. While we're still doing, we're doing that in between. And catch my breath because I'm fucking talking for an hour straight. Shit, that's what's making me more tired. And we're gonna get this sun because this bald head, I didn't put anything on it or a hat. This bald head's gonna get roasted. It's gonna make a pop like a cherry. Tyson might be too young. No, I know Tyson can't do it, but me and him would just go and pick the kid up. I'd obviously, I'd be the big brother, but he would just come with us. It'd be cool for a young kid. And then, and then, the Russian and the Midge can sign up as a big sister for a, a young girl. That poor girl. That poor girl. Oh God, the kid will come out speaking all kinds of funky languages and shit. That poor child. That poor child. Poor child. But we should sign up for it. We're gonna continue to. We're gonna continue to make this our one of our regular donations. We also want to donate. Gianluca from Italy is watching, on Instagram. Instagram keeps pausing now on that one. It's freaking annoying. I think Tyson might be too young to be a big brother. But I would be it. He would just come with us every time we go to pick pick him up and hang out. Griso, what's up, Griso? From coming. Italy. Mm -hmm. Let's do it. I'm going to knuckles. My hands are already getting raw. Seriously? <laughs> yeah, mine does. That's why I pulled the glove. They are. They're getting raw because I'm on this. You're in the shade. Look, this sun, this thing is hot already. This floor. No. Okay. So we got two more minutes. And we're going to log off and go catch up on the other stuff. Get set up some other activities that we're doing so I don't have to sit. I'm not going to be sitting here yapping the whole time. Is that Michael Marsh? Michael Marsh, what's up, you freak? Thank you for the donation. A very generous donation. You are fucking awesome. Michael Marsh, recent graduate of the project, class 007. So yeah, we are donating to Big Brothers Big Sisters. If we're going to continue to use them as our monthly charity, because we're doing a freak fest like this, a freak summer fest like this every single month. We already have them planned out for the year, pretty much. We're going to have either all to the same charity or all same charities. We want to do something for some kind of pets or animal shelter or something, so we might alternate months, but we also have some other big stuff coming up for charity fundraisers. Huge things coming up in the near future, so we're gonna need other charities and fundraisers to work for. But it only makes sense if we're gonna make that our regular fundraiser to actually sign up and be a big brother to some kid out here in California that needs some guidance, needs a mentor, that's one thing I could do right in life, I think. Marsh, what's up? You are awesome. Doug it, Michael. What is that? No, Michael Marsh already graduated the project. I think she's saying to do it. The cricket. Marsh is a savage. Marsh is a freaking savage. That dude went through the project with a smirk on his face the whole time. He couldn't even do nothing about it. Like, wipe that fucking smirk off your face, and it's just there. Wipe the smirk off your face, and it's just there. It's just his face. Just a freaking well, awesome. Last minute. Well, for this hour. <laughs> <laughs> Woohoo! Yeah, Marsh just had a smirk on his face the whole project, and that's just who he is. This is how he is. Just an awesome, freaking positive. Dude, fucking savage, savage. Now the second one's doing fucking, it. Well, Marsh, I don't know if you heard, but I was just talking about you, how much of a fucking savage you are, because that, that Instagram keeps pausing out for some reason. Pamela Hawkins doing the push-up challenge. We're about to log off here for about the next hour. We'll be doing some stories in between. I want to catch up on the emails and stuff in between, check up on the donations and comments and stuff in between while we're doing these push-ups, and we'll get out of the sun for a little bit, and we'll join you back live in a couple of hours. But there'll be short little live videos and Instagram stories nonstop throughout the day. So thank you for joining us. Please share this video. Go to the link. You can donate on the link. Share this with your friends, your family members, your coworkers. Put a comment down below. Like the video. Oh. Share it. Shit, there's a bell. Go, go, go. <laughs> what are we at? <laughs> How many minutes? So please share the video. Midge, you can't ask in the middle of a set. Right, we'll want? talk to you later. We're going to log off for now. Pamela Hawkins, I hope you're gonna join us later on live on the video. When we log back in, you'll see we're on. 
Ryan Goldstein, what's yes. up, Freak Show? We'll talk to you later. And in case no Bye, one told freaks. you yet today, you are fucking awesome. Stay tuned. We're going to be doing this all day, on and off here. We'll be doing push-ups the whole time. Even when we're not live, we're doing them every single minute of every hour for 24 hours. I will talk to you later. You are fucking awesome. No excuses.